And we're back! We finished up what we're doing here, so we're going to head on to the next place... thingy. Yes. Let's find the airport. Fine. I, I like your confidence there. But we've been to Tikal, so let's head to the Azores now. Azores. Ours or Azores. Or Oh, we still got the lamp. If only I remembered why we were here. This is his house? This is it! Mr. Oh, you did not. Keep your shirt on. Be careful, Indy. Humor him. Trust me. I suppose you're selling something. If it's not a priceless artifact, I don't want it. I hear you know something about Plato's lost dialogue. Maybe so, maybe no. Who are you? Let's try this, I'm... I'm a fellow believer. Is that right? Do you know where Atlantis is? Actually, I'm trying to find out. Hmm. Come closer, boy, and I'll tell you. You're standing on it. The Azores? No one believes me. That hurts. Nice going, Indy. I could have done better. Yeah, sure. Excuse me. Yes? Here, you talk to the man. <laughs> My pleasure. Hmm. My necklace. Hmm. I'll never get away my necklace. Mr. Costa! This better be important. He's a touchy old bird. Watch and learn, Dr. Jones. Well, hello, beautiful. <laughs> I hope my friend didn't pester you too much. He's a friend of yours? Well, no, he didn't pester me that much. He just has to learn to be more tactful. <laughs> you said it. He's the ruder than I. The power of breasts compels you. How can I help you? What can you tell us about Plato's lost dialogue? What do you want to know? Do you have it? Nope. Have you read it? Nope. Do you know what's in it? Not exactly. Can you get it for me? Sorry. Do you know where we could find it? Well now, that depends. I might trade the information for a rare Atlantean artifact, such as a certain necklace I've heard about. I'll never trade away my necklace. Well then, if that's how you feel, surprise me. Hmm. Would you do business with my friend here? Madam, I'll do business with anyone. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Goodbye for now. At your command, madam. See if I'll take the bead. Don't be a stranger now. He's a sweet old guy. Trade, huh? If not your necklace, then what, I wonder? Yep. Indy? Yes? I think you better take over. Okay, I'll think of something. Mr. Costa? 
You again? What do you want? Let's talk about a trade. Okay. What you got? I'm offering this ancient coppery bead. Bead, you say? A mere bead for the unique knowledge I possess? You'll have to do better than that. Got anything else? Let's offer him genuine... I'm offering this genuine American-made bullwhip. Not a chance. What good is a whip in this day and age? You'd be surprised. Got anything else? I'm offering this rare archaeology magazine. That magazine rejects all my articles. <laughs> you keep it. Come back when you've got something worth my while. Don't say anything. Let's see. Wouldn't Bjorn digging out an artifact in Iceland? Maybe we just need to knock him over the head and take it or something. Come on, let's go. Once he digs it out and... Either that or check New York for swipe things from our own collection. Oh. Too bad. He's frozen solid. A little too dedicated to his work, I guess. Yeah. It's empty. It's empty. It looks like a bead would fit in the eel's mouth. Well, I don't think it can get much more prompty than that. It fits perfectly. Whoa! Look, it melted itself right out of the ice. Well, Heimdall, I... Uh... It's a bronze coil. Uh... I can't pick that up. I don't think that'll work. He doesn't even register as being anything anymore. He's just like scenery. Uh... That's kind of unpleasant. Listen. Yes? Let's look around. I guess if I want to talk to okay. her about Heimdall, I'll have to go inside. Sophia. What's on your mind? Poor Heimdall. His ideas just weren't that hot. Oh. <laughs> Terrible, Indy. Well, we've got an artifact now. Let's head for the airport. I wonder if he actually knows where the Lost Dialogue of Plato is, or if he is just messing around. Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? Let's talk about a trade. Okay, what you got? I'm offering this mysterious eel figurine. Now that looks interesting. You've got a deal, mister. Now listen carefully, I don't know exactly where to find it, but... The lost dialogue of Plato is in the Ward Collection, got that? I think so. The, the Ward, Ward collection. collection. Very good, nice doing business with you. 
the Ward Collection. You know something, Sophia? I believe Barnett College owns the Ward Collection. Dr. Uberman. Fantastic news. Corner! At last! See what Herr Jones has kindly provided? What on earth? Isn't it amazing? You fool! You come back to show me this, this, this! Prehistoric knick-knack? Herr Doctor, I believe this knick-knack, as you call it, comes from the lost city. Then we have failed! I see no evidence here of some magical metal plato called Orichalcum! Look here, concealed in the base is this small shiny bead. And it glitters like fire, exactly as Plato described. It's my guess we found the treasure we seek. I never guess. We must test. My God. The energy of uranium without any radioactivity! And those smug American scientists know nothing! That gives me an idea. All I place to be inside this statue's open mouth. <laughs> Your imagination, Colonel! Think big like the Americans! Think of bomb! Oh, that's an unpleasant thought. But I do like those former applications that are more practical the better. So why are you dragging me in here? <laughs> this is Caswell Hall. We store all our junk here. You think Plato's Lost Dialogue is junk? I believe it's as real as Atlantis. All right, Mr. Cynic. Start searching. I'll meet you in your office. Right. The Ward Collection. It says, We'll trade K&E slide rule for FADA radio. Nothing that way, then. See if Indy can avoid falling through the entire collection. It's a greasy old towel. So anything else? It's hot. A fine sample of bitumen. Not an item. It's hot enough already. I wonder if this lamp will run on coal. That'll just make a mess. That'll just make a mess. Going up, Indy? Oh, well, at least that. Is there now. Screws in the tiptoe. I believe it's case. part of the old Pierce collection. It's a screw. Early 20th century, I believe. It's screwed in too tight. I think I've read them all.
Going up, Mr. Jones. Can we pick up the rope? I can't pick that up. there before but now we can like it's from the shamit collection very sharp marcus thought potlatch indians carved this looks like a movie prop to me i wonder if it would pull the floor isn't slippery enough it won't move it isn't slippery enough eh looks like beadwork from the phoenix collection the label says unidentified pot shirts. I if we can use that to undo a screw. Or five. I'm more likely to remember things in the first part of the game just because I'd done it so many more times. Ouch! The screw came out, but that hurt. I can't unless I find a way to protect my hands. Huh. It's unscrewed. It's unscrewed. It's unscrewed. It's unscrewed. Open the bookcase. There's nothing of importance here. I believe it's part of the old Pierce collection. I can't move it. I can't move it. I can't pick that up. It's empty. A fine sample of bitumen. Hmm. There's nothing of importance here. There's nothing of importance here. I don't need them. They're just textbooks. Well, let's close this back up. It doesn't seem to close. Oh, yeah. Yes, because it's... Yeah. It's already open. Yes. I wonder if you can climb that shaft. I mean, back in... The, back in... Yeah, back in the lower level. Looks like beadwork from the Phoenix Collection. Looks like textiles from the Shamit collection. Sli slightly frayed, but still strong. Too slippery to walk up. Hmm, yes. I thought so much. There's something on the front of one of these. Apparently, not literally, it just is there for effect. It's an arrowhead with a soiled rag wrapped around it. That didn't do anything. Ah. 
fine sample of bitumen. I wonder if I can use kerosene now with that. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Hmm. I just know I'm missing something. And I think we're almost at the path split, too, so... I believe it's part of the old Pierce collection. I don't think that'll work. I can't pick that up. I can't move it. Ooh, a school desk. It's an old lecture hall desk, complete with a wad of gum, I'll bet. It sure is gooey. Ah, uh, I... It sure is gooey. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. What can we do with gum? I don't think that'll work. Someone is probably just screaming at me now because I remembered that thing, but not how to actually do this. I don't think that'll work. I think I'll stick this on my shoes for traction. I was not expecting that. What do you know? The gum works! Indy, you're breaking the laws of science again. It's a book ready to fall. I don't think that'll work. I believe it's part of the old Pierce collection. I believe it's part of the old Dunlop collection. Another cat idol. It looks odd. I believe it's part of the old Dunlop collection. I believe it's part of the old so Dunlop what's collection. Odd about this cat figure. I can't move it. It's made out of wax. Hmm. Miscellaneous antique vases. Miscellaneous antique vases. Miscellaneous antique vases. Miscellaneous antique vases. I'm not getting out that way. So what can we do with a wax cat? Besides melt it? Well, it melted. It's very hot. That accomplished nothing. It's too slippery to walk up. I think I'll stick this on my shoes for traction. Oh, drawers. It seems to be locked. I don't see anything special about it. it seems to be locked. They're dra they're drawers. They're drawers. Seems to be locked. Seems to be locked. Seems to be locked. Are these all wax or it's much too heavy to carry. It's much too heavy to carry. These aren't the books I'm looking for. 
What are they the droids you're looking for? They're drawers. I hate you, pixel scan. I'm worried I've screwed something up with that cat there. It's empty. It's empty. It's empty. It's hot. It's already closed. Let's we'll see if there's anything over in the other building. So close. Well, don't just stand there. Go find Plato's Lost Dialogue. Nothing up here but a few broken pots. Ah, an icebox. I don't know if this will do anything for us. Phew. Guess I should have cleaned it out. I guess it's mayonnaise, but it looks like used motor oil. Ooh, that sounds slippery. Nothing useful in here. Yeah. But I think we're finally getting somewhere. We've got something really, really disgusting. It totally trumps using gum as traction shoes. How do you get up there normally, anyway? I mean, is... Indy got into the fourth floor by, like... Yep. This looks familiar. It's a stone carving of Shiva. I can't pick that up. It's some kind of funeral urn. I believe it's part of the old ward collection. Ooh, we're on the right track. Feels like there's something loose in here. A key? Huh. Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. It's a copy of an Egyptian statue of Horus. We've got a key, and I know where there are locked do drawers. Watch this be a complete waste of my time. I think I'll stick this on my shoes for traction. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think that'll work. It's dusty. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. It seems to be locked. It's dusty. That'll just make a mess. That didn't do anything. I don't think that'll seems to be locked. I don't see anything. I don't see. I don't see anything special oh, about it. Come on. I don't think that'll work. Is there anything else locked anywhere? It's a medieval gargoyle, or a good imitation. It doesn't seem to open. It doesn't seem to open. It's a crude copy of a Persian idol. It doesn't seem to open. I don't think that'll work. Come on, game. Poor Marcus. He thought this was a Maasai warrior. It's a genuine candlestick. It must be made out of lead. There. It's a genuine candlestick. <coughs> I think it's fine, right where it is. Oh, was it preventing me from opening the chest? It's full of air. I can't pick that up. I'm getting kind of annoyed by this. I don't want to disturb it any more than necessary. I have to be more careful around these things. label says unidentified pot shirts it doesn't seem to open I can't pull it any further Marcus thought potlatch Indians carved this. It doesn't seem to open. I can't pick that up. Let's make a used rope check. Ah, oh, just does that. Nothing of importance here. I don't need them. They're just textbooks. Anything, game? It says, Edward Teller, phone home. 
I think I'll stick this on my shoes for traction. I wonder if any of these cats open. It doesn't seem to open. It doesn't seem to open. They're drawers. It's already open. I can't move it. I can't move it. Seems to be locked. I don't see anything special about it. Seems to be locked. I don't see anything special about it. I don't think that'll work. Seems to be locked. Seriously, game, what is this? Seems to be locked. I don't think that'll work. Miscellaneous antique vases. Miscellaneous antique vases. Miscellaneous antique vases. Miscellaneous antique vases. I believe it's part of the old Pierce collection. I don't think that'll work. I can't move it. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. I am so totally flummoxed here that I don't even know what the I am just going to pause for a moment and no, I, d I don't want to do that now I don't got to be something over in the other building. Or maybe I can actually go to the right here and I just didn't know it. I'm not going to get help this early on in the game! I've beaten this game before! Uh... Well, don't just stand there! Go find Plato's Lost Dialogue! What do you think I'm doing? I better call it Glazier. Here's a cartouche from the Well of Souls. Here's a thuggy idol. Ah, letters from the school principal to my dad. They all begin the same way, regarding Henry. I'm moderately concerned I may have screwed I don't think something up with that I cat idol, so... A fine sample of bitumen. I'm probably missing something stupid. I hate to do this now, but after the coal thing, I didn't think you could screw this game up. Just a moment. No, I'm just stupid. And I didn't mean to make him climb up. I I apparently missed a chest in the pixel hunt. The problem here is there's three separate versions of the same puzzle going on here, and it's randomly determined. Is it 
push or pull? Ah, there we go. I believe it's part of the old ward collection. There's a manuscript inside. The lost dialogue of Plato. I, I really don't like having to do that. I just... I solved all the puzzles except the one that it randomly gave me. I got it. I found Plato's lost dialogue. Really? Our jungle friend Sternhardt is quite the scholar. Let me see. I'm not going to give you all the time in the world to read this. Just pause if, if I go too fast. Stone, so that's what he was on about. This sounds like blatantly stated puzzle solutions. See how this will help us find Atlantis. Plato mentions colonies and outposts. We'll find them. But he doesn't name them. Maybe names aren't important. I wonder. Where's my spirit guide when I need him? Come on, Sophia. The answer's in the book, not outer space. So he got his dates mixed up. Why is that so important? Plato's error means distances could also be wrong. So what if they are? If Plato is right, Atlantis is in the Mediterranean. You mean 300 miles from Greece instead of 3,000? Yes, the cradle of civilization. You could be right. Ha-ha! <laughs> he once told me he came from the middle of the world. That's what Mediterranean means. Good old Nurab Sal. I'm starting to like him. Wait, quiet. I think I'm getting something. Don't push this too far, Sophia. Will you just shut up and listen to me? She does like doing the hand waving Among thing. the artifacts that Kerner stole was a small stone disc with a hole in it. I'm sure it was one of the three stones mentioned in Plato's book. And I didn't find it. I bought it from Omar al-Jabbar in Algiers. Haven't we talked to enough of these nutcases? Or was it Alain Cartier in Monte Carlo? Either way, Algiers or Monte Carlo. This much I do know. You'll need all three stones. 
if you want to find Atlantis. How will I find Trottier and Al-Jabbar? Not so fast. First, I'm going to tell your fortune. Look into my eyes. Deep into my eyes. Here we For are. For Pete's sake, I'm not going to hurt you. Now hold still. You are a remarkable man, Dr. Jones. You possess great strength of character. You are resourceful. Always eager to solve life's deepest puzzles. I could never follow the thoughts of your maze-like mind. So I can't follow you along the twisting path that leads to Atlantis. And here we have... The Choice. Because of the way we solved the first puzzle in the game, i.e. pushing the crates out of the way to get through to Sophia, she suggests the Wits Path. I better think this through alone. However, we can always say, no, we'd rather go do this with her. You're choosing the team path. Or we can go into action, fighting our way through enemies and using the game's awkward combat engine. We will do them all eventually, but for now it's up to you, the viewer, which we do first. I'll see you later, everyone.